hello you welcome back girl i'm so glad to have you here today if you are new here hi my name is butsy and i am a drag queen coming from homophobic country so i cannot really do drag in real life but hey i can do it here on youtube so if you want to support me girl do hit that subscribe button down below because if you don't hit that subscribe button jada essence hall will get a stiff neck so she will not be able to look over there in today's video girl we have another episode of Yes or pass for episode 8. So in the episode 8, we had the makeover challenge. Queens got to make over some of the guys from Project Rainbow Railroad. That project is so good. As you know, I am from a homophobic country and only thing I want is to just be able to immigrate somewhere and live my truth wherever that may be. And this project is something that allows people like me all over the world to get help they need to immigrate to Canada. I'm personally unsure. I think I cannot apply for that program because girl, I was so lucky to be born in the Balkans right after the Yugoslavia fell apart. I was left in one of the Yugoslavia war-torn countries. But because of the nature of that incident, I got two citizenships because Yugoslavia was multinational country. So you could be, for example, a Serb living in Croatia. And after Yugoslavia fell apart, you moved back to Serbia. So you got Croatian and Serbian citizenship. And my parents are one of those people who got dual citizenship citizenship and I got it with them because I am a dual citizen of two homophobic countries not one but two homophobic country I mean all of the ex Yugoslavia area is not really that good when it comes to acceptance but my situation is just special that way just because where I was born I can really not ever search for the asylum in other countries because I think that breaks the law if you are a dual citizen you cannot search for the asylum so yay for me but no matter what, I... Okay, I'm talking about myself too much. But I will find a way to move wherever I can, legal way, and I will get there, bitch. I am not staying here, but whatever. I am so glad that the programs like this exist to help people like me out. And I personally know one of my friends who back in 2016 moved to the US on asylum visa because he was so attacked here for being LGBT. So it's a great thing that programs like that exist to help us less lucky people who were just born in the wrong place, I guess. That there are even countries who are willing to provide shelter for us. That is so amazing. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, every single developed country who is willing to do that. So, because this project is so great, I will implore you to donate if you can do anything. I will leave a link down below where you can donate if you are able to. It's such a great cause to donate to because they do such an amazing job. They literally give people second chance at life. And that is not something we should look over. But let me just fix my bangs and let's continue with the episode. Girl, I spent all that time drawing these bras on. I will not cover them with bangs. So, first up, we have Priyanka. Priyanka is giving us this gorgeous neon fantasy. She's wearing this neon green fringy puffy thing and her sister is wearing the exact same thing but in pink. I think this was created very nicely. I love the way it fits on their body. It is kind of a simple of a concept I have to admit. Even though I love how they sold it. I love that what's my name thing they did on the runway. I do feel it is kind of simple. It's just a simple bodysuit or a skirt with two puffs on top but they sold it so fiercely and I think they both look so so good so there is no other choice but to stand for me so miss priyanka gets a what a yas from me i love this outfit i love how they sold it i changed my mind i want bangs back this looks Next up, we have Scarlet Bobo. Even though I love Scarlet Bobo so much, and I think she's kind of underdog in this competition, she should have gotten a win at least so far. She has been doing so great. But in this challenge, I kind of don't agree with her high placement. I think her outfit was so simple. It's just a bodysuit made of three colors and a coat on top. Yes, the makeup is so fierce. Yes, the hair is fierce. But the outfit itself, I mean, does this screen house of Bobo to me. Do they look related? Well, yes, because they are wearing the same wig and same outfit. I wish she went more punk rock with it. 
for me this is just too simple i cannot really stand behind this outfit so for that reason scarlet bobo gets a pass from Next up, we have lemon and lime. The concept of this, I actually really love. I love that she's a lemon, so she has a yellow hair, and her sister Lime has a lime green hair and lime green gloves. They are giving us the lemon citrus family, and I am living for that. But then, the same critique. This outfit is kind of simple. I mean, it's just two dresses that I don't know if she even sewed or she just brought from home, and then two coats on top. Lemon is a fierce queen. I'm so sad to see her go because I think she's so so talented but this challenge was just not her best but this is the top five you need to be the best of the best of the best safe does not cut it anymore and I think this was safe so for that reason lemon also gets a pass from me even though I will add one thing that comment from Jeffrey Boyer Chapman about her makeup so uncalled for I mean I didn't see what was wrong with the makeup. Yes, Miss Lime has a little bit more masculine face, so the makeup doesn't sit as well on him. And Lemon has such a fishy face that her drag is just so fishy, she cannot really replicate that fishiness on any other face that's not like similar to hers. But other than that, they looked amazing and I loved the makeup. So for the makeup, she would get a yes, but overall it's a pass still. Next up, Rita Baga. They are giving us clown couture realness. Okay, I actually like this look. I think the hair is so gorgeous, how it's made, how it's quaffed. Jimbo cannot treat you on the hair this time. I like the clown theme. It's not Rita Baga at all, at least from what I've seen so far, but at least they had a concept and they went with it. The thing was family resemblance and they look like they are from the same drag family. Even though when they kind of took that thing off and the reveal was just Meh. I think they should have went for full clown couture, like cinched those outfits they had at the beginning, added some little more details to make it more drag, and that would be perfection in my eyes. But even though now, the way it is, I love it because there is concept and I can see their vision. So for that reason, Miss Rita Baga gets a yawns queen from me. And last but not least, we have Jimbo and Bimbo. Girl, if this was a family challenge, they are giving us incest realness and I am living for it not for the incest but for the realness part I think Jimbo did such an amazing job creating this outfit out of this latex material this outfit looks so snatched it looked so gorgeous on their body when they were walking it just gives us all the silhouette everything is in the right place it looks like it was high-end and it was made for some kind of a runway I absolutely love the idea and the execution and the way they sold it on the runway like these mean mean girls it was so good so jimbo gets a really big yes from me i think this was gorgeous so yeah those are all the queens from episode 8 of canada's drag race who is my super yes of the week well this week we had some amazing contenders but overall my super yes of the week is jimbo and bimbo i think they did great they sold us their family resemblance incest realness i love everything about that look they sold it on the runway the fashion is gorgeous everything fits so nicely i think they killed this challenge so for that you are my super yes of the week so yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching this video remember if you liked it please hit that like button because it means a lot to me and if you really like me hit that subscribe button down below because if you don't hit that subscribe button jada essence hole will get a stiff neck so she will not be able to what look over there also if you are able to consider donating anything to my patreon it will go back to this channel and this drag and you get extra bonus content for it so even two dollars help out a lot for a queen in need also there is a link down below for rainbow railroad check it out see their program at least share it maybe someone you know can help them out so yeah, that is it for this video. Remember to stay fierce, stay kind, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye!